In this video, we are going to talk about a simple trick that will help you solve a cubic equation of the type ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equals to zero. So maximum number of times this trick is very useful. So do watch this video till the end and subscribe to our channel to support us. Let us consider an example of cubic equation, which is x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. Now, the first root is obtained by the method of hidden trial. What I mean to say is that maximum number of times the roots are 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2 or 3 or minus 3 or 5 and minus 5 and so on. So, this trick does work maximum number of times. You need to put such small values in this left hand side of this equation in the place of x and check if you get 0 as the result. So what I mean to say is that first put x is equals to 1 in the left hand side of this equation. If you get a 0 as the result then this 1 is the root is a root of this equation. Now if you do not get a 0 what will you do then? You have to try to put values like minus 1 or 2 or minus 2 but such small values are maximum number of times the root. So for this example let's try first try to put x is equal to 2 and check if 2 is a root for this equation. So we will be getting 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 1 that is 8 minus 12 plus 6 minus 1 that is equals to 14 minus 13 is equals to 1. So we did not get a 0 when we had put x is equals to 2 in this equation. And that means x is equals to 2 is not the root for this equation. Now let's try for another small value that is x is equals to 1. So for x is equals to 1 we will be putting the value 1 in place of x in every part of this equation wherever x belongs and you will be getting 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 minus 1 that is 1 minus 3 plus 3 minus 1 and that is equals to 0. So we got the result as 0 and hence this number 1 is a root for this cubic equation. Now we will learn how to factorize this equation with the help of x minus 1. Remember we got the first root by hidden trial method which was 1 and therefore we will factorize it in the form of x minus 1. And how can we do that? Look at the equation carefully. x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this can be written as x cube minus x square minus 2x square plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. Which is simply what I did was writing minus 3x square as minus x square minus 2x square. And why did we do that? Look at the equation now and focus on x cube minus x square. The first two terms. I will take x square as common from these two terms. So we will be getting x square bracket starts x minus 1 bracket closes minus 2x square plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now look at 3x carefully and I am going to write it as 2x plus x. So the equation would become x square multiplied by x minus 1 minus 2x square plus 2x plus x minus 1 is equals to 0. I hope you are getting it that I am trying to factorize the equation and bring x minus 1 in this equation. So now focus on the terms minus 2x square and 2x. This 2x we got by writing 3x as 2x plus x right now from this the two terms minus 2x square and 2x i am going to take out common minus 2x so that we will be getting x square bracket starts x minus 1 minus 2x bracket starts x minus 1 plus x minus 1 is equals to 0. we did nothing wrong but simply expanded the equation with the help of x minus if you would multiply these terms again, you would get back the cubic equation. Now we can take x minus 1 as common from the terms shown. So we would have x minus 1 bracket starts x square minus 2x plus 1 bracket closes is equals to 0. And how did we know that we are supposed to factorize it in the form of x minus 1? Because in the first step, we guess the root 
with the method of hit and hit and trial so maximum number of times you have to put smaller values like 2 1 3 and 5 or minus 5 or minus 1 and then you will get the root you will find the first root by hit and trial and the other roots will be very easily available to you. Look at the equation now. Over here we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 is, and this is the quadratic equation which can be solved very easily. So we know for this equation x squared minus 2x plus 1 we will also be solving it. So how do we solve it? I will write minus 2x as minus x minus x. So the equation will become x minus 1 bracket starts x squared minus x minus x plus 1 is equals to 0 and why we are trying to factorize and solve the quadratic equation right so that is the reason why we did it over here x minus 1 bracket starts x x minus 1 minus 1 x minus 1 bracket closes so over here we will be getting x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 is equals to 0 so you will have three roots for this cubic equation which are 1 comma 1 comma 1 and this is your answer. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.